IVF aid claims land in a pool and set up field hospitals. Iran slams nuclear powers and Israel at UN atomic treaty meeting. Wendy Sherman says US watching Israel regarding two-state solution. And Ban addresses the issue of UN schools during Gaza war. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. The top stories for April 28th. IDF jets carrying emergency supplies landed in Nepal throughout the night and this morning, and rescue efforts began to extricate some 80 Israeli trekkers trapped in remote areas following Saturday's earthquake. We have just uh, landed over here after a very long flight from Israel. We did everything that we can to be as fast as possible on ground in order to uh, save lives over here with search and rescue teams and our hospital, field hospital, in order to be here to save life, to help the people over here on ground. 260 IDF personnel have arrived in the country. A pair of rescue helicopters was focused on finding unaccounted for Israeli tourists believed to have been trapped while on a trek. 95 tons of medical and logistical equipment also arrived with the convoy, including critical material that will be used to help set up field hospitals to treat the injured. Iran on Monday demanded that countries possessing nuclear weapons scrap any plans to modernize or extend the life of their atomic arsenals, while branding Israel a threat to the region due to its presumed nuclear stockpile. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif spoke on behalf of the 120-nation non-aligned movement at the UN Conference on the Global Anti-Nuclear Weapons Treaty. They expressed great concern over the acquisition of nuclear capability by Israel which poses a serious and continuing threat to the security of neighboring and other states and condemned Israel for continuing to develop and stockpile nuclear arsenals. They also called for the total and complete prohibition of the transfer of all nuclear-related equipment, information, material and facilities, resources or devices, and the extension of assistance in the nuclear-related scientific or technological fields to Israel. U.S. Undersecretary Wendy Sherman discussed U.S.-Israel relations in a speech to the Religious Action Center of Reformed Judaism in Washington on Monday. She expressed concern over Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's comments prior to the March elections, in which he suggested that there would not be a Palestinian state formed on his watch. If the new Israeli government is seen as stepping back from its commitment to a two-state solution, something that all of you and a vast majority of American Jews supports. That makes our job and the international arena a lot tougher. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said on Monday that Palestinian militants had stored weapons in three UN facilities during last summer's Gaza war and that such action was unacceptable. He also took Israel to task for shelling neutral UN facilities and killing or injuring Palestinians who sought shelter there from the bombings that occurred during Operation Protective Edge. He based his statements on the conclusions of the Board of Inquiry, which he established in November. The Foreign Ministry said in response that, quote, Israel makes every effort to avoid harm to sensitive sites in the face of terrorist groups who are committed to targeting Israeli civilians and to using Palestinian civilians and UN facilities as shields for their terrorist activities. That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Israel. Until then, shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.